Hi everybody, welcome back to Tetrix Roll Bench video series. This is Tim, and today we want to talk about grippers, specifically uh, what you might want to think about if you're going to build your own gripper. One of the common questions we have, or the issues that a lot of people talk about, is we really don't know how to make our own gripper. So we want to talk about that today, about what it is that actually makes up a gripper, and what you need to think about when you're going to try and build your own gripper. And I have here right now an example of basically probably what would be considered um, the fundamental type of a gripper, and that's a pair of pliers. And if you think about that uh, as a mechanism, what we really have here is just simply levers that have a common pivot point. And um, when they work against each other, it creates a gripping motion. So uh, that's what we need to remember. We've got to have a common um, pivot point. We have to have jaws that, as they work in opposite directions, they come together and create that gripping motion. So I, how would we do that in Tetrix? Well, I'm going to show you real quick. I've created a framework, basically, uh, with uh, two of my 96 millimeter flats. And I have two gears that are, uh, as you can see here, uh, meshed together. And when they're meshed together, they create that common pivot point. And because gears, when they're meshed together, move in opposite directions, I have all of a sudden that same motion that I had with my pair of pliers. Again, uh, common pivot point working against each other. I create a gripper, uh, gripper mechanism. So just to show you real quick what that makes up, I'm going to take these off real quick here. Basically, uh, again, I've got two of the 96 millimeter flats that are along with one inch standoffs. I've kind of created the framework and I'm going to pull this off here so you can see. Uh, uh, and I've got my uh, 40 tooth gears mounted on small plates and the axle hubs and setting in one side of my one plate one inch stand, stand offs create the framework and as you can see those gears are going to mesh together and create that gripping motion. Now I could use longer plates here to extend that out but basically we just have to have a, a connection point beyond the gear that creates um, the basis for what we can actually then build our gripper on. So I'm going to set that aside and show you one that's actually pre-assembled. This is off our now, one of our new models that we're going to uh, introduce this coming year, but you can see I've got a servo mounted on the top. Basically the same framework that I just showed you there, but as those gears uh, mesh together, and again I've, I've created using other plates stacked together, I've created a framework that formed my jaws, and now all of a sudden when I activate those with the servo, I have a gripping mechanism. So again, remember, uh, it, it kind of can get intimidating, but basically you break it down to the simple machines. It's a lever mechanism with a common pivot point. So we could actually use 3D printed parts to, to create the jaws, but as long as you can begin to make that uh, initial common pivot point, then you're on your way to making your own gripper. So again, I hope you found that beneficial information and um, something that maybe you can incorporate in your robots moving forward. So thanks for watching. Have fun out there. Build some robots and come back and see us.